That thumbs up tonight from a Halifax man who is the first American to receive a penis transplant after cancer forced amputation. Thomas Manning says doctors, quote, literally saved my life. The 15 hour operation being hailed tonight as a medical marvel, and the patient saying the operation goes beyond him. It's about opening dialogues on this very tough subject and expanding it to our wounded servicemen. WBZ's Louisa Moller's live at Mass General Hospital tonight, where that patient is still recovering. Louisa? Well, Paula, as you might imagine, service members who suffer from genital injuries often suffer in silence. But one patient and a team of doctors here at Mass General hope this procedure will help bring them out of the shadows. 64-year-old Thomas Manning is making history. Doctors at Mass General Hospital announcing Monday the Halifax man received the first ever penis transplant in the United States during a groundbreaking 15-hour operation. He's a really an amazing patient and courageous person. In 2012, Manning's genitals were amputated due to cancer. Now doctors are cautiously optimistic that he'll be able to urinate normally and experience sexual intimacy thanks to a deceased donor. He wants to be uh, whole again. He wants to not be, as, as uh, Dr. Coe said, in the shadows and, and um, about an injury such as this. And, and that's really echoes what many patients with these kind of injuries uh, feel like. Thousands of veterans of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan remain in the shadows. The Department of Defense reporting nearly 1,400 male service members survived genital injuries between 2001 and 2013. Manning saying in a statement he wants to be an inspiration for them. Quote, today I begin a new chapter filled with personal hope and hope for others who have suffered genital injuries, particularly for our service members who put their lives on the line and suffer serious damage as a result. Now, doctors say it's early days yet and the body can reject a transplant, but thus far, Manning is doing extremely well. He is up and walking around his hospital room. Live in Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.